What's going on, guys? No one cares about unboxings. Shut up, you stupid bird. I'm not listening to you this time. <laughs> All right, guys. So, obviously, uh, that that was not really Master Grade Monday. That was a fake. That was a fake out, as it were. And yeah, I'm trolling a little bit. It is what it is. So instead, we're going to do what other people kind of wanted and actually do an unboxing to do a new kit. And I picked this one up from Hobby Town not too long ago. It still even has a sticker on here. But you have the Crossbone Gundam X1 Verka version. So I'm actually going to go ahead and unbox this guy. And yeah, it still has the, the bubble wrap. No, bubble wrap. The uh, shrink wrap around it. So it is still... So, so fresh. And I'm kind of excited for it. I mean, I, I've heard some issues about crossbones kits, but I've never built one. But I've always thought they looked cool. So we can go ahead and get this one open. If I can. And uh, if my review set looks a little bit different, it's because that accident on Sunday livestream was a bit more tragic than expected. My sheet down here. Uh, it, uh, it shrunk. It shrunk a lot. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do an unboxing. It actually seems like it's been a while since, like, technically speaking, it's been a while since I filmed an unboxing. It's just not been in one since you guys have seen one. Alright, go ahead and get this open. Of course, we've got the A-Runner, which is the multicolor, multi-plastic runner. Wow, that did not cut at all. Alright, come on, get out of there. Ooh, that's... Bags on the floor. Oh, I haven't said that in a while. All right, so we've got the beam effect parts. So we've got like the weird knuckly things. We've got the beam sword, and we have some incredibly tiny parts. Holy crap! Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to be insanely careful with some of these things. Got the faceplate. You've got the skull there. I think for the helmet, if I had to guess. Yep. Skull and crossbones there. Tons of tiny parts. You got clear parts for the face. Clear plastic cockpit. Took me a second. I had to think about it. This thing has a core fighter. I had to remember that. Got tiny little molded parts here. Skirts. Side of skirt. Yep, that's what that is. Okay. Wow, okay. And a nice weird mustardy yellow here for the chest vents. Uh, not entirely certain. Leg vents, possibly? Possibly. And big old V-fin right there. Wow, okay. Now, I know uh, that Crossbones is actually kind of in a similar scale to Wings, so it's not going to be huge. And on the floor again. Alright, so now we've got the Navy parts, and Navy parts always suck. You've got some shoulder armor, you've got the main chest piece, little other bar uh, Barts. <laughs> Can't talk, guys, I'm tired. Little other bits there. All kinds of fun stuff. Um, ah, oh, does that mean I have to paint those? Those are the bits on top of the shoulders right there. I don't want to paint those. Okay, red parts. We got obvious, obvious feet parts are obvious, and I'm not actually sure what these are. Are those actually the wrists? Mm, could be, because they look orange there. Maybe they're supposed to be red. That's just the artwork. Yeah, because this is the crotch piece, so that's obviously what that's supposed to be. Alright. Oh, we got stickers. I got a sticker sheet. Which you gotta use quite a few of those, it looks like. It is a, it is a Kotoki kit, so... Lots of marking decals. Come here. Alright. Chart out on the floor. Okay. So, you've got orange stickers for those. Yeah, may or may not use those. Depends on if I feel like painting. It looks like a lot of these vents, if I had to guess, they're up there on the big cross thrusters. Not sure. And then you've got the different stickers and markings right there. Of course, eye sticker and camera stickers. We've got big old white parts here. So you've got bits for the obvious thrusters. You've got legs, legs, more legs, uh, more parts of the legs, arms. Those are knuckly thingies. Uh, these look like the flip-out hinges for said knuckly thingies. Knuckly thingies. I will say, though, at least having it this way, I can push the stuff farther back. That's kind of nice. I might I might change things up a little bit. It might not have the sloped back anymore. I might actually just uh, leave it back there against the wall, but get the uh, 
get another sheet back there because the paint on the wall is not that great. Uh, beam saver blades, they are what they are. Frame parts. Ooh, that's different. Got some nice molded hoses in there. You got the hips. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what some of these are. Shoulders, if I had to guess. Wrist joints, probably. It looks like, you know what? It really does. It reminds me of the uh, F91 that Nick brought over. A little bit, the way that recesses. Huh. And repeat runner. Okay. Oh, those have definitely got to be the ankles, if I had to guess. I thought that was going to be the last bag. Apparently it's not. More bags on the floor. Uh, we've got hips. Center section for the waist. All kinds of fun little stuff here. Little torso connection there. You got the hands. Okay. Yep. Uh, those kind of hands. Joy. You know, I love those. Oh, hey, frame. So you got legs, other thingies. I'm assuming these are for inside the thrusters. Big chain thingy? I think it has a chain mace or something like that. I don't know. No, there's two of them. There's one over here, too. Got a little knife. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. I don't know, it does have the whole pirate motif, which is one reason why the... Crossbones is crossbones eye. That's so cool. Oh yeah, I see the thing. Wow, this knife has gotten dull. All right, try not to lose that. Got a hunk of wire. Um, I don't know if that's for a weapon. I assume it's for a weapon of some sort. And then we have these little guys. Don't know what the heck these are. MG something or other. I don't know. Is that the same? Yeah, it's the same thing. Crossbones. Gundam. X1. Okay, so here we got some weapons. You've got the nice rifle thingy, which is actually very much like a, um, oh, what is it called? Like a blunderbuss, but it's also a sword at the same time. It's kind of crazy like that. Here you've got actually the sword handle. you got regular beam sabers. You've got pieces for things not entirely certain obvious shoulders are obvious core fighter parts oh that could be core fighter parts too oh you got the pilot get the pilot right there there backs of the hands all kinds of fun stuff big old shieldy looking part not sure where that goes huh okay and the final frame parts wait this looks oddly familiar do we look at this already Maybe it's from a different kit. Did we look at this already and I'm dumb? We might have looked at it already and I'm dumb. But it looks different. That's probably for the core fighter. That's another bit. Probably, man, maybe that's an ankle joint. I don't know. Pistons. Yeah, we didn't look at this. Definitely very similar to an F91. Alright, and last but not least, we had the pirate cloak. I think it's made of like a very light canvas or polyester. That may or may not be cool. And we've got little, what I assume are little sticky tabs of some sort. And instructiones down at the bottom. Wow, that is a thick book. Okay. It's either thick or it's just really heavy stock. Ooh, so pretty. There's the design aspect there. Oh, my timer went off. That means I've got to finish up real quick. And there's the X2 custom. I do want to get that, but it is not cheap. And the X3. Now, I couldn't tell you the difference. They all look identical to me, except for color scheme. All right, so here's all the full color versions. Oh, that whip looked like it was coming out of somewhere. Very unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a handguard for the weapon. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it has a little claw thingy that shoots out. That's what it do. There's a cool-looking core fighter. Gotta love that. That's pretty cool. That is from F91. Huh. I need to translate this. Or actually look things up. There's your runner list. Oh, cool. It does tell you which section you're working on. That's always fun. They always tell you that. But I don't think I've ever seen it laying down like that. It's showing you 
diagram wise what you're building that i think i've never seen could be wrong i have never i haven't built an older katoki kit so this is different and yeah the paper feels funny i'm not gonna lie feels really strange okay so you build the whole gundam then you build your core fighter and then you plug said core fighter in the back now i have heard that these parts here are very floppy they just gonna do whatever they want to do so you either gotta glue them in one position or tighten up the joints with something that's what i was told here's our weapons and equipment huh you can actually oh that's different huh Cool. It even tells you how to roll that up. It even gives you a little measurement for cutting out a piece of sprue or something to do that. That's kind of neat, not going to lie. And then here's your Katoki sticker placement. Very cool. Very cool, actually. All right. So I'm going to build this guy over the next week. And we can look forward to it next Monday. And yeah, I know some people are probably not happy about the 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 spoof master grade monday but that was what i thought would be quite funny to do so and yes i will be looking at the impulse pretty soon that was just a joke but the impulse takes a while to actually <coughs> do <laughs> so i actually wanted to get something built so this will be a fun fun kit now, if you guys are new here, make sure you like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing so far. If you want to stick around and see how this kit turns out in a week or so, definitely do that. And uh, if you guys are interested in Patreon, if you want to feel like donating a little bit, help the channel go a little bit further, right here on the screen as usual. And guys, remember as always, keep on building.